Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Gardo. And we're back with a new fun deck, a little brew from AO4, and we're using our girl Dark Alice this time, because we, we might as well. Yeah. Um, but before we get into it, guys, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below is our link to our app that we made, that is the Force of Will Grimoire. Go check it out. It's a really good database, good deck builder app for Force of Will. So go check it out. Uh, with that, we're going to delve into the deck called Poker Face. So we're playing all the weird uh, card card game cards with Dark Alice. Minus the Dark Gambling Hall, I didn't want to try that yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. Alright, so the girl we're using is Dark Alice, and its judgment is a white and black black, and then her uh, front side is whenever Darkness Regalian is a field under your control. Choose one if the Regalia is Unknown Mother Goose, choose one again. You gain two Light Crystals, you gain two Dark Crystals. Simple as that. Yeah, and she's got Energize, so, I mean, it's super simple. Yep. Uh, her Judgment side, she is a 12-14 Drain and Bane. So, yeah. already sweet, because she can kill anything. And then enters, you search your deck for a Fairy Tale Resonator and put it in the field. Pay a white, banish two Light Crystals, target entity gains Eternal and Barrier until the end of turn, so you can give her Eternal and Barrier if you want. Uh, pay a black, banish Dex, Darkness Crystals, destroy all Resonators with total cost X. Or God's Art Mother goes Rising, which is a white and a black. Put any number of target Fairy Tales and or Shadow Units, Shadow Resonators from with different names from your graveyard to your hand. So she just helps you get back dudes. Yeah, after board wiping for sure, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, she's one of the pretty wild like control rulers right now. You just have to make sure you can get those crystals to do that. Mm -hmm. And help get your Regalia, of course, is a Yudrasil, as always. Uh, it costs one colorless, it's a 0-4, but has an ability of search your deck for a Regalia that shares an attribute. Will that you paid for this, play this card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. And then, thankfully, she can tap, uh, add one will of any attribute, spin this only, play Regalias. So there you go. That's how you get your stuff real quick. Uh, another way to get help from to get your regalia or any other like card like that is John Dark, uh, Heroine of the Shadows. She is one black for a 2-2. Two, two. And enter, you look at the top five of your deck, you may reveal a light slash darkness card from among them and put it in your hand, then put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order. Banish this card, gain a light and a darkness crystal. Oh, so she good. does have to get a black and a white card, so it has to be both colors. But there's quite a few, and it you can get your regalia if it's one of them. So you're like, cool, snag my regalia if I need it. Yeah, turn one, done. <clears throat> Next one is Shadow X. So one darkness, four four, quick cast, bane. But enter, gain two darkness crystals, banish a darkness crystal. Your opponent loses two under life. So hopefully, maybe at the end of the game, you could just machine gun them to death, or just quickly dive in and block and kill one of their things. Uh, next is Mage Jack. He is one white for a. Quickness Drain, and he's got Enter, gain two Light Crystals, banish a Light Crystal, you gain two life. Same and he's at 4-4, four, four, so he's he's the other one, and you need him for the spell. Yep. Uh, Nightmare Knight. So, it's a Darkness and uh, White, 6-6. Six, six. Enter, choose up to two. You can banish a Light Crystal if you do. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a Fairy Tale Resonator from among them, put it in your hand, and the rest of the bottom of the deck. And then banish a Dark Crystal. If you do, a target Resonator gets minus 1,000 or minus 1,000 until end of turn. Whenever another fairy tale resonator enters the field under your control, you may return this card to its owner's hand. That's uh, really good. Yeah, actually. So yeah, so you, mostly, hopefully, you just banish Dark Crystal and kill a dude, and just kill him straight up, and then if he's in the graveyard, just bring him back. Or oh yeah, just when he's on the field, if you play another dude, so you can bring him back up to kill another dude. Yeah, he's pretty silly. Yeah, he does a lot for you. Not too bad. Uh, next is the King of Kings. It is two white and one for for a nine nine fairy tale. Other fairy tale resonators you control get plus four plus four. Banish a light crystal. Discard this card. Target J resonator gains plus four plus four, and you draw a card. So you can use it from your hand to be like, hey, cool. I need to save that dude, and then you can get it back with Dark Alice's uh, Gaza. Yeah. But the other one, which is super powerful, is Save the Queen. It's two darkness and two twelve twelve. J Resonators, your opponent's control gains minus four, minus four, just base. Yeah. And then banish the Dark Crystal, discard this card, target J Resonator, gains minus four, minus four until in the turn, draw a card. Basically, you want to just play all of them that you can, because just having two of them in the field, they're like, their dudes are minus eight, minus eight, they can't really win. Yeah. That, as long as they don't kill her, you know? Uh, next up is one of the powerhouses of the deck, just to help you, is the Shadow Swords Master. It is two white, three black, for a 15-15. With first strike precision, barrier strangers. 
And you pay a white and black black less to play this card if you have three or more light crystals and three or more dark crystals. And then enter, you may banish any number of light crystals and or darkness crystals. Draw a card for each light crystal banished, and you, your opponent banishes a resonator for each darkness crystal banished. So she just helps you clear the board if you need it, and yeah. give you get you back in the game by drawing a whole lot of stuff. So even if you did have the 3-3, she costs 3, you sack 6 things, you draw 3 cards, they lose 3 dudes. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, sounds, sounds like, pretty solid to me. Sounds like a, 3 is the magical number right there. Speaking of that, 3 of a kind is our first mage art here. It's a 1 drop quick cast. Gain a light crystal, draw a card. If this card was awakened, draw 3 cards instead. And awakening is remove 3 cards that share the same name from your hand or banish 3 light crystals. <laughs> so... Yeah. You reveal three cards that share a share a name, or you <clears throat> banish three crystals. Most of the time, you're going to banish three crystals to play this card, because the likelihood of you having three in the, in your hand is kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. But hey, if you get it, neat. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, next is one pair. It is one black quick cast mage art. Uh, gain two light crystals and two darkness crystals. So this card is awakened. You gain two additional of each. And then in Awakening, reveal two cards that share a name from your hand. This one's a lot easier to get Awakened. Yeah, yeah. And it's a little, it's really, really strong for one white, for one black. So yeah. you're just like, cool, get some crystals. So even at the beginning of the game, if you get screwed over by two of the same names, but have this, you can just be like, well, here we go. Yeah. I have a crap ton of crystals now. Unknown Mother Goose. We have the Regalia here. It's a black and a white. At the end of your turn, you gain a light crystal or a dark crystal. Tap, produce two, a uh, will of combination of black or white. Spin this only play God's Art. Your fairy tales, shadows, or mage arts. So basically, your fairy tales are pretty much mana ramped. Yeah. Ridiculous. Uh, next is Schrodinger. It is in addition and it's super good in this deck. Yep. Uh, white and a black, and quick cast. Enter, remove target Regalia or Resonator you control from the game, then put into the field, rested under its owner's control. Banish a light crystal, this card becomes a 10 10 with drain and eternal. Banish a darkness crystal, this gains, becomes a 10 10 with bane and precision. Yeah. And if you get rid of both, it does have all four abilities because. It just does. And it's still 10-10 though, not a 2020. 20, yeah, it's 20, just a 10, 10 But yeah, to have four abilities, that basically means and just just whatever, you can't mess with it. Yeah. The next one <clears throat> is Royal Straight Flush. It's a darkness and white. Quick cast, destroy Target Resonator. If this card was awakened, instead destroy all non-magic stone entities your opponent controls. Put all cards revealed by this card. Wait, what? Put all cards revealed by this card's awakening cost from your hand in the field. Jesus. So Awakening, you actually have to have all of them. So Nightmare Knight, King of Kings, Save the Queen, Magic Jack, and uh, Shadow X from your hand. Yeah. So yeah, that's a win more. Thing, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you get it, cool. That's our goal, but I'm, I don't know if we're going to get there, but yeah. we're going to hope so. Maybe one time we can just pull a Maverick and just pull, pull <laughs> yeah. the, the Ace on top yeah. and then you'll be able to do it. Uh, and then we have Cage of the Mother Goose. We have its uh, black and white addition. You may rest a recovered fairy tale J resonator to cast this rather than pay its cost. Enter, remove target J, non J ruler, non magic stone entity from the game. Whenever this card leaves the field, put a card removed from it back into play. Yep. So this is just your way to clear the board if you need something gone. Yep. That is it for the deck. We got the stones, they're really simple. Magic Stone of Heaven's Rift. We have a light and a magic or light magic stone, dark magic stone, and an Erexus Memoria. So since we're only playing black white, we don't need any other fancy stones. Yep, simple as that. Yeah. It's a super simple, we're just trying to shoot the moon, really. We're gonna try to get that royal straight flush, and who knows? Maybe we can. Yeah. Uh, but the deck list will be down below, guys. Check it out and leave us a like in the comment. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.